Hi everyone, it's Alexandria. And Michael. And welcome to Never Better Club. Today, we are going to be discussing our upcoming chili pepper eating competition. In San Diego, California. But first, our sponsor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just I was, kidding, we don't I was really unaware, sponsor. Michael, that we had a sponsor. <laughs> it's us. It's Michael sponsoring <laughs> this all. <laughs> so we're really excited. We, we recently uh, purchased our, our flights to San Diego, California, and uh, booked our, our hotel. We were just kind of getting ready and prepped for our upcoming um, chili pepper eating competition here. So uh, really excited. The, the weekend of June 16th um, in San Diego. So really excited about it. Yes, 16th. 17th, 18th. I think we're going to be there the 19th too, but not for long. Oh yeah, not really. We're going to be flying out pretty early that day. So it'll be really great. Any of you who plan on being at the West Coast Hot Sauce Experience, please, if you see us, come say hello and give us a hug or a high five. And we can't wait to meet all of you. Um, we will be handing out Never Better Club stickers. Yes! So. Yeah, Michael We're joking about the sponsor, but we will be handing out stickers. So. Yeah, <laughs> we do have little stickers. They're really cute. Uh, we, I guess we've been kind of talking about what to do with them, and I think that handing them out to everyone in person is a great little, little memento to give out. So, so in preparation for the uh, chili uh, pepper competition, we're going to be putting out new content, uh, training specifically. So. Um, I think we have some endurance uh, training videos that we're going to be putting out. So, you know, eating a lot of, um, you know, raw uh, peppers, along with some speed challenges as well. Uh, that's a big component there. Yes. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited about it. Michael and I have not really ever tested ourselves as far as either of those things go, at least not to extreme levels. So that's something that definitely needs to begin to take place. Uh, on a semi-reoccurring basis in our household. Chili, mass chili pepper consuming, dealing with um, all of the lovely after effects and just preparing ourselves. The last thing I want is to go into this very, very difficult competition and find myself uh, feeling like I've never experienced anything like it before in my entire life, so. Oh, for fun, as we talk about San Diego, California, um, I thought we would do a quick challenge. Why oh, not? Yes. Our favorite challenge. So maybe uh, knock out um, a six hot cheese ball Let's do while it. we talk about San Diego. Yeah, we can talk about it a little bit after too. We'll put markers in the video for those of you who don't like to listen to us talk. Um, so Or only like to watch us eat really hot things. Where's mine? Right there. Oh, I do see it though. I thought you were hoarding one. So the, the rules there. of this is burned in the back of my, my mind, so. Ah, uh, uh, yes. This one we don't need to read yep. off of the League of Fire website. You eat a cheese ball, you wait a minute, and after all the cheese balls, you then burn for five minutes. So, we'll knock out this real quick. Beep. Broken seal. But we do have to read our uh, oh, disclaimer. Yes, I, Alexandria Tursek, am over 18 years of age, of sound mind, and have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers and manufacturers, will under no circumstance be held responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I acknowledge and agree to this without question. All right, and I'm Michael Morgan, I'm over 18 years of age, of sound mind, have read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. Summary except that the League of Fire, their suppliers, manufacturers will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product and multiples that are up. Acknowledge and agree to this fact without question. <coughs> so, yeah, do a little <coughs> hot cheese ball here. Great. Cough. We're still we're still getting over a cold, which is why we haven't really done any extreme challenges lately. But uh kind of keep it. Yeah. Keep it simple here. I still don't have my sense of taste or smell. I'm kind of weird about dumping these out on my plate. Should I try to do it this way? I saw Uncle Bull Cow do this. He like put it in sure. his cap and knocked them back. No, nah, I want to hold them. I changed my mind. I think I'll just keep them in the tube though until this time. Cheers. Cheers. 
Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. You know, you always forget how hot that is. <laughs> Those little suckers. Yeah, they, they are pretty tasty. But they're hot. It's just, I can't taste anything. This is the weirdest thing. Everyone around me kind of like swears that I have some variation of undetectable COVID. Yeah, you, you assessed it and... It's really weird. I haven't been able to taste my food for over a week now. And let me tell you, that is one of the worst symptoms of being sick ever, not being able to taste or smell your food. You know what I miss? I miss coffee. I was um, I was at my nail salon today and uh, I got a cup, Hannah made me a cup of coffee and I put tincture in it in front of her and she was like, you're insane. She was, <laughs> she was making fun of me. And, uh, <laughs> and I was trying to smell or taste anything and I was like, wow, this is just hot burning liquid. Yep. It's fire liquid. That's what it was. But uh, no, no taste right now. Hey. Mm, I love these. Ah. I have problems. So hey, San can Diego. We two, can we do two tubes? Do we have enough? Yeah. So mm -hmm. San Diego. I have been to California a bunch of times, um, Los Angeles, once. San Francisco. I've never been to San Diego. So doing some research, it looks pretty neat. Like the, where we're having this event is really close to the airport. We're really fortunate to be able to get a hotel like really near the Oh pier. my gosh, we got a hotel so close to the pier. So we're gonna be able to walk there. Yeah. Um, you know, get airport's we, super close. So, so when it seems we're really all very sick, we can crawl home like zombies yeah. on our stomachs, like just drag ourselves back to our hotel room. I'll be like, Michael. Oh, well, I won't even be able to talk, probably. I'll just like slug on back to my room with my key card. It's, it's going to be wild, is what it's going to be. Yeah, really, really excited to see everyone. Um, at League of Fire, everyone in the hot sauce community. That's going to be out in San Diego. So it's going to be, I think, a lot of fun uh, to be out there. So, so yeah. Cheers. Let's Cheers. Get, get this one done. Uh, uh. Semi awkward, I guess, but I really did want to bring this up at some point. And what, what better point than now? I might bring it up again if if you guys don't see this. But I have this like fear uh, because there's all these people that I'm really looking forward to meeting, and there's all these people that I've been interacting with on social media who are going to know my face because, like, okay. I'm a blonde girl. Like, I'm, I think that I'll be a little more noticeable than like all these other people that might look a little more similar. But here's here's where I'm coming from. Sorry, sorry if this sounds crazy. It probably does a little bit right now. But I can't see faces. I have like this condition where I can't in my mind's eye see faces. So if you see me and you want to say hi to me, please come up and say hi because I'm so afraid of like not speaking to somebody and someone thinking I'm rude or something. So Michael will help me. I'll just stick with Michael and help you can introduce me to people. That's usually how it goes. He's my helper. It's a, it's a real condition. Yeah, it yeah. is. I promise. Uh, I can never remember the name for it, but it's because at some point in my life, I had a mini stroke, like a bleed in my brain. And um, a certain part of my brain was damaged where TMI. I can't see faces. Did you say two more? TMI. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm even, listen, this is a hot food eating channel. These people have strong stomachs. <laughs> Michael, you're probably gonna tell me later, you gotta not talk about weird stuff like that. <laughs> I just, it is a genuine fear of mine. I guess it's a social anxiety that I have because um, I don't know what people's faces look like when I close my eyes. Like I recognize people based on what they're wearing or their hair color or their skin color. And that's all I can see. I can't see your facial features. So like, even when I close my eyes right now, I don't know what my children look like. I don't know what Michael looks like, but Michael's so good because he wears the same exact outfit every day. This is not just for the videos, you guys. Like he wears this exact same outfit every single day. Well, He's mostly a, just black. So. Well, yeah, and if not this, another version of all black. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, when I have crazy stories where like I've been out at like Target or something with Michael and I've seen a guy wearing all black down one of the aisles and I've touched him before like on his back because I didn't know it wasn't Michael <laughs> from behind and then I'm like ha 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 it scares me because <laughs> you always wear all black that's how I recognize you when we're out in public. Ooh, yeah, these are these are hot. I love these. I'm so happy right now. What did we do last day? Oh, that crunchy challenge. I don't like that one. Yeah, my mouth's on fire. Yeah, it's, <sighs> it's a different burn. You know, all these challenges, I really think everyone should try like all of them because they all hit so different. This one's very unique. It is unique, yeah. It's a burner. It's a really like stinging burner. Like a decent mouth pain. Sunburn or something. Cheers. Cheers. All gone. Ah. Ah. Sorry. All right. So San Diego. Yeah, we're. We're gonna have so much fun, you guys. You know, it's been. It's been so long since Michael and I got to get away together and just do something that was focused on something that we are passionate about and um this is really going to be such a positive and a soul renewing experience for the two of us I think we're going to get to do something we really love together and we're going to meet a lot of people who love the same things as us and how often do you get to do that this is yep. going to be cool Super, super grateful to the grandparents for watching the kiddos. Yeah, that's, that's that was... That's the only way that this is possible. So. I brought that up in the last video that, you know, the only way this was possible is if we had the support of my parents and they um, are supporting us through taking charge of our children and being the child managers while we are away. Aye, aye. So, you know, Grandma, we've got grandpa. three little ones, so it's... Uh, yeah, all three of them. It's not easy. It's not, we, we have, have we gotten away ever? No, this is, this, this is it for us. Like the, the first time. So high stakes. Yeah. And we're, it competing, will... we're both competing in chili pepper eating competitions and uh, the amount of prep work, you know, for that's a lot, but a lot of prep work just to have just to, to get, get out yeah. there. Yeah. So it's kind of a double whammy, but we're excited for it. Yeah. It's going to be, um, well-deserved too. I'm excited. We're on the afterburn, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so starting to maybe take a look at some restaurants while we're there. Oh yeah, that's worth bringing up. Bring it, bring that up. Good, yeah, a couple of good ramen spots. So. Yeah. I was looking at the death ramen challenge. Yeah, there maybe, you go. Maybe they'd uh, fit us in there, you know. So. I, was I don't know some if like I... a fire folks together and. That could all... be really cool. I, I I'll just let you guys know. I don't know if I'll be doing that. Um, Michael is ramen obsessed. Yeah. I... Um, I got some burn going on right now. Oh, the cheese balls. Love taking on the, you know, any, anything, any Carolina Reaper ramen challenge, I'm all for it, so. Yeah. It's my thing. I, I know you said you saw some other YouTubers uh, perform that challenge. Yeah, if you, if you um, search on YouTube, San Diego, uh, Death Ramen, there's some videos, so, yeah. So I actually emailed them. Uh, the restaurants today so yeah. we'll see what they say yeah cool um i think that'd be a fun thing maybe just squeeze them like on a friday i bet you some some of the guys and gals who are coming out would do that with you yeah yeah that'd be fun um yeah it sounds great i have a little <laughs> bit of fear of missing out like fomo going on as far as the days we're going to be out there and that's why i'm thinking about like not doing a challenge on friday because um i don't want to cramp the whole time i'm there like, you know, I want to have a couple beers and just chill. Like, this is our... I kind of want to do a moment. challenge like every day on there. I want to do one like Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I think at the event itself, they're going to be doing challenges on Saturday. So I like to do one of those. You're going to wipe, um, wipe your head. This is usually your sweatband challenge. Yeah, it is. Um, can you, though? Will they allow you to do that? I think so, yeah. That would be really cool. What, yeah. Do you know anything about the other challenges? Um, yeah, there are different types of food challenges. So there, there's a noodle challenge, like an extreme noodle challenge. Wow, that sounds um, like fun. I think this is a tamale. Challenge. Yeah, that's a common so, one. That looks pretty neat. Um, cool. 
yeah, really, really curious about uh, some of these other challenges. I feel like as long as I have 24 hours to kind of recover from something, like, I should be fine going into the pep reading competition. Yeah, 24 hours sounds pretty good. So, uh, just make sure you feel look forward to it. <coughs> Anything stable. Oh, this cold is insane. I'm so congested. Yeah, going on two weeks. Two, two weeks tomorrow. Very, very long cold. Very kind of brutal. So, yeah. So, comment below if you're going to be there also. Some of us, um, some of you were aware of that will be at the hot sauce experience and some not. So, um, hope you can make it. It's a bit of a tre trek for some of us. Michael and I got lucky with some good flight times. Oh yeah, we got a direct flight from uh, St. Louis. Yes. Very fortunate. We didn't think that was possible or that we were gonna have that option. Yeah, grab the last ones too. Available to, yeah, two seats left, we grabbed them. So, we are very fortunate. What do you say, we have time for another two? I'll do it if you want to. Um, time. What do you think? What do you say? You you pick. Let's do it. Okay. My only reservation is my sinuses. Yeah. Uh, so clogged. Alright. Oops. Oh yeah, that is it. Do you have another napkin over there? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm showing this. Pour it out. Yeah. Gosh, I rubbed my nose and it's raw with the pepper powder. Okay, here we go. Alright, cheers. Cheers. You know, when you blow your nose too much and it gets like rubbed raw, that happened to me. And now I just put cheese ball powder in it. So one of the things in the, I think the hot food community that's been getting re really popular is this um, uh, spicy pop tart. Oh, the, yeah. They, out it, of Chicago. Fondly nicknamed the hell tart. <clears throat> so. Um, I'm really excited. I, I'm hopeful that our, our cold will go away rather soon because we should have it this weekend. Yes. So we're looking forward to taking that on. Yes. <laughs> looking forward to it. It's going to be really hot. And I've heard it's not sweet at all. <laughs> We also have some other uh, exciting challenges coming down the, the pipe as well. I think one of the things that Alexander is most excited for is the pure insanity. Yeah, that's going to be legit. Uh, oh yeah, coming down the pipe, aka got a box next to me. Yep. Yeah, pure insanity society, there's a couple of those that we've got lined up. So we, we do mostly League of Fire, uh, we have some other kind of fun challenges and you know it's all great prep for um, these chili eating competitions. We are really trying to get our hands on fresh, fresh pods. If you know of anyone that you know maybe grows year round, if you could drop a comment that'd be fantastic. We are looking maybe a Florida grower or something but um, right now we get our hands on a lot of habaneros and scotch bonnets but we're looking to um, yeah, something and, and some, some dried reapers and whatnot, but it'd be nice to get some fresh ones. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> come on, sucker. Are you kidding me? This one's too big to come out. I'm not kidding. How'd it get in? Okay, then they all come out. Ugh. 
You know that guy who's like, no reaction. I always feel like I'm the opposite of him. I'm like, <laughs> reaction! <laughs> but you don't get any points for not reacting in life. So, I sit here and go, <sighs> so hot. It's Michael sweating. Definitely yeah. sweating. This, this is yeah. The this physical, is the physical reaction of these things is um, impossible. Your nose runs, you sweat. Yeah, it's a hot one. <whistles> Cheers. Ah. Ah. But well, like I said, the um, six hot balls is uh, probably my favorite challenge. I just really love it. I love the heat. Um, actually, it's got a nice cheese taste to it. So yeah, which you know, normally it's it does six hot cheese balls, but still, it's very uh, very tasty. Had a pretty light um, on the food today, so fill yeah. the stomach a little bit. <laughs> How did I prep for this? I'd be happy to tell you. I think I ate a banana. No, the more I think about it, maybe I had a half one. Did I eat a whole banana? I did eat a whole banana. Oh, I ate a whole banana. Um, before that, I did something out of character. I drank buttermilk, <clears throat> uh, which I enjoyed uh, just because it sounded good. But, yeah, that's about it. I had coffee for breakfast today with tincture in it on an empty stomach. Uh. Mm. And that's all for today. For fun. Let's see what crazy card we get. Pass some time. I'll do a couple of them. Alright. Michael. Would you rather sing the national anthem at a Super Bowl without practicing beforehand or be unable to grow hair anywhere on your body? Well the, the second seems like a, a real pro. I'm a pretty hairy guy. Michael's so. hairy as hell. <laughs> hell yeah, I'll sing the national anthem without practicing. Who cares, right? I'm not a professional singer. It's not going to be good. <laughs> Just everyone enjoy. All right, cool. We agree. All right, what about this? Uh, would you rather have a party and have no one show up or have... The theft alarm go off every time you leave a store, even though you didn't steal anything. I'd rather no one show up to party. I have three kids, so a little bit of silence sounds great. Ah, uh, throat burn. That just sounds so sad. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's temporary, right? Yep. Temporary. All right, what one next? I'm drooling. Okay. Would you rather have your thoughts broadcast on your forehead? 
<laughs> or have a seizure every time you get a mosquito bite. Oh my God. That was pretty terrible. You guys, if we broadcast my thoughts on my forehead. I don't think the world's ready for that. No, I'd have to, I'll wear a headband all day. The world, the world. What do you, I'm. I'll have the seizure, thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll just wear insect repellent. Seizures for me. You guys aren't going to see what's going on in my head. All right. Oh my gosh, my nose is ready. Uh, what did you, oh, I feel nauseous because of my clock nose. Okay. Would you rather get a nosebleed every time someone says your last name or wear the same pair of socks for an entire year without washing them? Ooh. I know what you're choosing. Nosebleed for Alexanne. No one says my last name. They avoid it. Actually, even I feel like people on like social media and stuff, they're like, Alexandria Morgan. Hey, guess what, suckers? I never changed my last name. It's Alexandria Tersek. Poor Michael. It has nothing to do with my deep and undying love for him. Uh, yeah. I just am lazy. <laughs> I was when I didn't have kids. Anyways, yeah, I get a nosebleed every time someone says my last name. Ah, uh, my nose is burning. Uh, would you rather be three feet shorter than you are Ouch. or have an irremovable two foot long tail? Cool tail. I'll take the tail. Two foot long tail. Can I move it around like a cat? If we both have one, then it won't be so weird, right? It's true. Cool. We will have tails. <laughs> Ugh. Not my thing. I don't want a tail, though. Okay. Would you rather eat only baby food for the rest of your life? No, thank you. Wow. Or call a stranger mom at least once a day? Yes! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Hi, mom! Yeah, hi, mom. Hey, mom. You gotta be careful who you do that to. So it'll be like. <laughs> Women do get away with a lot more, so. I find. She gets Mom. away with a lot more than I do, at least. Oh, I need another napkin. I'm just gonna be like. Okay. Would you rather be unable to recognize anyone's face, like me, or have go. walrus tusks? Listen, I can't recognize a damn person's face. <clears throat> I just cannot. I recognize you based on your clothes. It's they, hilarious I pulled this card today. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. They both seem manageable to me. The tusks could be kind of neat, though. Yeah, you have the tusks. I already have the superpower. <laughs> <coughs> People are like, wow, I can't believe she didn't remember who I was. I'm like, I can't see your face. Okay, this is almost done. Thank goodness. We'll skip the rest of these or save them for a rainy day. Wow, it's been great, you guys. Been fun talking My nose about is running really San badly. Diego. We're super excited for our trip and to see everyone that attends, and of course the pepper eating competition. So we're gonna have so much fun. Yep. If you want to have fun, come find us. We are a we'll couple have of fun people with stickers. With stickers. Yeah, you can put them on your forehead. You can put them on a folder. You can put them on your car. You can, you can put, put them here. You can put them there. You can put them anywhere. <laughs> You can use them for many various ways, reasons, ways, purposes. Okay, my mouth burns. See you we'll later. Slightly longer video. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.